All right, so another day, another beer review. Yesterday, I did the other Samuel Smith beer, and uh, the one that was a bit more uh, an imperial stout. It was a bit ashy, but it was pretty good, 7% alcohol. And I said, wouldn't it be nice to have an oatmeal stout? Or I think they do. Well, little did I know, I actually bought an oatmeal stout, the same one from Sam uh, Samuel Smith. And uh, again, it's 5% alcohol. We can see that somewhere here. Can we see it somewhere here? Where's 5% on here? Here we go. All right. Right there. So let's uh, open it up. I already have my steak now, so I'm going to have to hurry because I don't want my steak getting cold. It's already here. Very good. Uh, so let's do a pour. And there was a little bit of water from the wine or the ice or whatever the hell it was. So there is, yeah, it, there's a bit of foam. It, it kind of takes a while, but it comes. Oatmeal. Yeah, so it has a more carby, sweet taste to it, like oatmeal. Um, a little bit of ashiness is an aftertaste. What's the sniff? Um, don't care. So uh, it tastes good. I would say the oatmeal set is probably my favorite. Um, maybe they could have the alcohol a little higher. I don't know. Is there an imperial oatmeal stout? Can you make that one? I don't know. But this is really good. It's a stout, so, you know, it's it's not your regular ale. It's a stout. I don't, I don't know what to say. It's a perfectly great stout. Let's have a little more foam. The ashiness is markedly less. It's sweet. It's still a beer. It's nothing weird. So I would say this is better than yesterday's for sure. Uh, let's see what the beer snobs think. All right. Okay, let me have another steak here. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Mm. All right. Beer advocate. Uh, Sam... Ewell Smith. All right, oatmeal stout. This is rated 94% outstanding. I agree. This is really good. If you want an oatmeal stout, you want a beer, you want to try something new, this is the one to try. 5%, 550 milliliters. Um, that's it. So uh, this is well rated. Oatmeal stout, rank number 22. So there's a lot more Let's see what's what's uh, up here. The Rusty Nail by Fremont Brewing. Breakfast stout, bourbon barrel. I hate bourbon barrel stuff, but anyways, let's go back to the one we're rating. Uh, let's see, four out of five, four point oh two, four out of five, two point nine one. There's not too many written reviews here. Well, that's a shame. The lowest one is two point nine one. Kind of weak and small in taste, mild molasses flavor. Well, I don't disagree. It doesn't have a very strong taste. A little bit of ashiness in there, but it's it's pretty mild. I, I would say the same thing. Kind of weak in smell and taste. Yes, mild molasses flavor. It's a little bit sweet. That's why I like it. It's not too strong. It's not too crazy of a beer. It's a good go-to beer if you want one. 4.02 is the highest. 12 ounce bottle with a coat on neck opened uh, 10, 13, 23. Two finger sand colored head with great retention. Indeed. Um, settles in as a thick cap. Dark brown body. Early and late lacing. White rose, dark fruit, molasses, gingerbread, cola. Cola. I can see it. It's kind of sweet. Not like syrupy sweet but it's not it's not bitter what's going on a very sensible sessionable a very sessionable sound i don't know what sessionable means medium body uh low plus carbonation and uh mildly creamy mouthfeel it is a little bit creamy for sure it is. it's not watery though no. no it's good flavor Lengthy and semi-sweet finish. Yes, semi-sweet. Very good. So that's it for now. And uh, yeah, it's a good beer. Samuel Smith's Imperial or uh, Oatmeal Stout.